Three, two, one.
Three, two, one.
Three, two, one.
Three, two, one.
At Jiffy Lube, it's our job to keep you moving. With a full range of services from oranges and tie rotations to filters, wipers, and more, we've got All what right. your car needs right when you need it. I still want a reaction while oh, I wait God. for Logan to respond. Mm -hmm. Grant. <clears throat> Grant. What? Grant. What are you doing? Oh, God. Open this door right now. Okay, okay, God. Now! God! I cannot believe that you are drinking and driving again. I wasn't drinking and driving. I started drinking when I got here, so I avoid all your naggy. Oh, I'm not even drunk. Oh, God. I told him. You need help, Grant. What if Sienna found you out here like this? Oh, come on, please, Allison. Sienna's asleep. Besides, I'm an adult. I don't need to answer to you. Dang, well, you, gotta be yeah. really. you said it yourself, Grant. You're an adult. You don't need anyone's help. Uh. Damn, that's a big beard, buddy. Whatever. Uh. Uh. What are you doing at 6 a.m.? I don't have to be in work for two more hours. You said starting yesterday you were going to join me at the gym. Remember your New Year's <coughs> resolution? I let you out of it yesterday. Let's go. Come on, get out. Oh, I am so tired. Oh, my chest is burning. Uh, I need some Pepto. All right, I'll get you some as soon as you get up. Uh, but I made you a green drink, so come on. Let's go. Can we go later in the afternoon? No, no, no can do. Sienna has her recital at 4 p.m. And no, and do not be late, by the way. Mm. Fine. Go down there after work before dinner. But can you please turn off the lights so I can go back to sleep? No. Get up. Do you remember what Dr. Singh said at your physical exam? You need to take your health more seriously. Yeah, well, you're the reason I have half my health problems. You're the one that gives me heartburn. Oh. Uh, hey, honey bear. How was your recital? Where were you? Oh, I'm sorry. Daddy wasn't feeling too good. I'm like a little, <laughs> a little sick. Okay, well, I hope you feel better. And that you come to the next one. Oh, thank you, honey buddy. Okay, sweetie. Listen, I want you to go upstairs and change and then get in the bath, okay? And I'll be up in a little bit. Okay. All right, sweetie. Look, before you get started, I really was sick. Otherwise, I would have been there. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure all this stuff is making you feel wonderful. <gasps> Did you miss work, too? Not a big deal. Come on. I don't anyone's sick days, OK? We didn't lose any pay. You think I'm worrying about the money? I'm worrying about you killing yourself, Grant. With all this drinking and the way you're eating, and this medicine is just a band-aid. It doesn't fix anything. You know, if something happens to you, it doesn't just affect you. It affects all of us. Listen, nothing's gonna happen to me, okay? I'm gonna be fine. Sure. Maybe now. But you know what they say. If you don't spend time with your wellness, you'll be forced to deal with your illness. Mm. Oh. Okay, come on. Get up and let's go to the gym. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm sick. Oh yeah? And I bet you that beer's helping. Oh, here we go with the drinking. I drink because of all your lecturing. You know what, Grant? You want to throw your life away? You have at it. I have done everything that I can. Oh, great. You know what, Allison? Grant? <coughs> Grant. Ooh, what? Hey. I can't. What, what is it, Grant? I'm burning my... No, no. Okay, um, I'm, uh, I'm gonna call 911. Yeah, that was not tomorrow or anything. Oh, like right away. Every story with us is out. Bro. Find your with the YouTube. It's isn't good. I don't have to not disturb We are still waiting for your results, but looking at your heart, I'm really concerned, Grant. Wait, did it show it or not? Let's see. Thing. 
good. Back to the video. How much alcohol are you consuming? It's nothing out of the ordinary, you know, like five or six, seven or eight. A week? No. A okay. day. Oh, Whoa. They call it. And how about your diet? Are you exercising? Well, I, you know. No. You're not doing that either. I ask him to eat healthy or work out with me, and he won't. You need to listen to her, Grant. You're really lucky that you have someone who loves you and cares for you as much as she does. If you don't change your diet, start exercising and stop drinking for a while, then... Wait, stop drinking? Wait, wait, talk... What, I can't have like just like one or two? Stop and just listen to him. At least temporarily, otherwise next time you come in... Well, let's just say there may not be a next time. So please take it very seriously, Grant. I will. I promise I will. And we're still trying to figure out if it was a really bad heartburn or an actual heart attack. I'll call you once I get the results. Thank you, doctor. That sounds great. Take care, Grant. Thank you. Did you mean what you said about your promise? I'm still not convinced it was a heart attack. Oh. I think it was this really bad heartburn. But all I need is some Pepto. Oh, yeah. Honey, why don't we just wait until we get the results back and then we'll go from there. And I was thinking uh, for dinner, maybe we would, uh... Allison, No. Uh... What is it going to take for you to take this seriously? Come on, Allison, it's just a couple of beers. It's not a big deal. No, I mean, like, I'm not drinking nearly as much as I used to. Oh, no big deal, right? So if it's no big deal, Grant, why did you hide it? You haven't been to the gym with me, not once. You haven't changed your eating habits even a bit. And now you started drinking again? You know, I've been feeling pretty great lately until you start lecturing me. You're the reason that I have heartburn. Oh. I mean, more than the beer or anything else. Oh, I should have told the doctor that. You were in the hospital. You could barely walk. What is it going to take for you to take this more seriously? Because we still don't know what it is, OK? Yeah, and until we find out if it's something serious, I don't need to change. Oh, really? Can you get that? I'm watching the game. That's gonna be tough. You're gonna have three months to Hello? Hey, Allison, Dr. Singh here. Uh, oh, hi, Dr. Singh. I'm calling to let you guys know that Grant is okay. It was just a case of severe heartburn. He should just take the antacid I prescribed if the heartburn returns. Okay, I, I appreciate the call. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. How's that a penalty? Oh no, Dr. Singh, I, I just can't believe it. I, I, I understand. I, 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 I will. I just, I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you for the call. So, uh, what do you say? <laughs> That's hey. about the goat. What's going on? You're just starting to scare me a little bit. He said you did have a heart attack, and it is way worse than he thought. He said that you have We're... three months to live if you're lucky. Three months to live? What are you wait, wait, what are you saying to me? Three months to live? What does that mean? He said you have three months to live, Grant. Well, I, I, I can I can reverse it. I, I, yeah, I, I can make this thing better. I can I can turn this around. Nothing. Nothing. Not. Unless. Unless. It's a long shot. But if you do everything that he told you, everything, 
exercising, eating right, and stop drinking, you might have a chance. Kyle, I wonder how you can be. I'm not, I'm not ready to die. I, 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 like, I don't want to die. I, 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 I want to travel the world. I mean, like, I, I haven't even been to Yankee Stadium. I, I want to see Sienna get older. I want to, I want to watch her get married. I actually value you like something. Uh, Allison, you have to help me. Like I can do it. I'm gonna do this. I promise. From that moment on, Grant finally decides to change his lifestyle. He yeah, stops so drinking and gets oh, rid of all the alcohol in his house. He starts going to the gym, and when he wants to give up, knowing what's at stake, he pushes himself to keep going. With a little bit of help, of course. All right. He swaps out the milkshakes for water, and fun. instead of cheeseburger and fries, okay. he orders salads. Give it like at least a six out of ten. He even starts to spend more time with his daughter. She couldn't be happier to have him around more. Everything was going so well, but then he runs into someone that he least suspected that changes everything. Oh, I thought he was gonna. Hey there, Grant. Hey. hey. How's it going? Good. You look great. I guess I don't have to ask if you've been taking my advice seriously. Yes, I am. I mean, I'm eating clean, I'm working out all the time, and I completely quit drinking, like all together, which is great because now I get to spend more time with Allison and my daughter, so. Oh, that's a great news. Come by sometime. We'll do a follow-up, okay? Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Cool. See ya then. Hey, Doc, um, what do you think the chances are now? I'm not sure what you mean. Well, you know, when we got the test results with three months to live, you know, I mean, now that I'm healthier, I mean, is there any other way that we can, like, reverse it? <laughs> okay, Grant, I'm sorry, but I'm confused. You called up Allison and you told her that I only had three months to live. <laughs> and you, you said that, right? No. <sighs> I have a surprise for you. Oh. For all the hard work you've been doing. <laughs> Are you serious? What's going on? Guess what? Uh, while I was out grocery shopping today, I ran into someone. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Singh. Yeah. And he told me the craziest thing. You want to know what he said? What? That I didn't have a major health issue. And it's my favorite. He never said that I had three months to live. Imagine that. Okay, Grant. No, you listen. I can't believe that you lied to me about something so big. You weren't listening to me. I didn't know what else to do. And sooner or later, we would have ended up here. I did what I had to. I can't, I can't listen to you. I can't believe you. I don't trust you. You can't be mad at me for this. You look amazing. You are happy and healthy and you have been the best father and husband ever. Can you not see any of the good that's come out of this? The only good is, is that I met up with Dr. Sin, and he told me the truth. I didn't even need to give up drinking in the first place. I can't believe I listened to you. Grant, no, please, don't think. Don't go down this path. It's not good for you or us. Okay, forget about me. Think about Sienna. Do it for Sienna. You need help, Grant. Well, let's just say, there may not be a next time. I'm gonna call 911! Uh. Dad? Is everything 
everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay, sweetie. Are you coming with me to my recital today? Absolutely, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Yeah, throw that. We don't like that. I'm so proud of you. Well, it's like you said. I gotta take care of my wellness before I'm forced to take care of my illness. I'm so grateful to have you. And thank you for letting me see that. Well, if we solve this Morse code. Dot dash dash dash. Don't wrong. Um, according to my calculations, that's not in that Morse alphabet. Thank 
Okay, another O. be another ex. Just check this. One. Yep. X. Yep, and it did three dots. Thank you. 